There are some tools that every motorcycle garage should have. If you want to start working on your bike, start buying. I'm going to show you the must-have motorcycle garage tools in this episode of Riders Garage. I've put together a list of tools required for all the motorcycle operations. First and the most important is the service manual. It's not expensive and it tells you all you need to know. It's like a motorcycle bible. The regular home tools are perfect for a lot of motorcycle service operations, but beside the spanner, pliers and screwdrivers, you will also need a ratchet and socket kit. Without them, forget about even starting. A torque wrench is mandatory for your garage. If you check your service manual, you will see that everything must be tightened at a certain torque. Try to go by the manual for this one. Trust me. If you own a multi-cylinder bike, you will need to synchronize your carburetors or injection system from time to time. This way, all your cylinders will get an even amount of fuel and air mixture, making the engine run smoother. A chain braking and rivet tool will allow you to change the sprockets and chain by yourself. With this tool you can rivet any type of chain link. Considering the chain life it goes around 10,000 miles, this tool will come in handy. The garage lifesaver is the rear stand. It's not heavy, it's cheap and it helps a lot. You can perform a lot of operations while your motorcycle sits on it. If you have if you get your hands on the front one, you will be saved. The Allen wrench is an important tool for your motorcycle. From removing your wheels to other operations, a 4-in-1 Allen wrench will be very useful. But you must own a complete set of Allen bits and torques. Let's not forget that bikes have a lot of wiring and relays. The best tool to deal with this is a multimeter. It will get you in the middle of the problem in no time. If you feel prepared enough, you can go from even complicated operations like replacing your fork, oil or seals. For this operation you will need a fork seal driver and a graduated cylinder. The last important tool is the brake bleeder. Mine works with compressed air, but you can find one that works manually. This is good for changing your brake fluid or your clutch fluid. Now that we have all the necessary tools, let's go to work. <laughs> 